Welcome to this Angular Tree Map Component tutorial. With this Syncfusion Angular Tree Map Component, you can visualize both hierarchical and flat data. You can customize the look and feel of the tree map by using built in features like color mapping, legends, and label templates. In this video, I will demonstrate how to create an Angular app and add the Angular Tree Map component to it with a few basic features such as legends, labels, tooltips, a title, selection, highlighting, and color mapping. Let me start with the application creation process. I'm going to create an Angular application using the Angular CLI tool. Make sure you have installed the latest version of Node.js. I will edit my code using Visual Studio Code and view the output on Google Chrome. To create a project in Angular, I open Visual Studio Code and install the Angular CLI using the command npm install hyphen g at angular slash CLI. I use the ng new project name command and name my project my Angular app. I am going to create a project with a CSS style sheet, so I choose the CSS option. The project creation has started. Now let me navigate to the project folder. To add the Syncfusion Angular Tree Map component, I install the Syncfusion Angular Tree Map package using the command npm install at syncfusion slash ej2 angular tree map hyphen hyphen save. This will install the package along with its dependencies. The application is now ready to use. The first thing I must do here is register the trial license key to use Syncfusion components. So I open the main TS file and import the register license method from the Syncfusion EJ2 base package. Using this method, I register the trial license key. To generate this license key, refer to the link in the description below. Now, the application is configured to use Syncfusion Angular components. Next, I navigate to the app component TS file and import the tree map module from the Syncfusion Angular tree map package. Then, register it within the imports array of the component section. Now, let me start adding the tree map component to the application by opening the app component HTML file and removing its default content first. I add the tree map component by adding the EJS tree map tag with appropriate styles. To visualize the tree map, I need to populate it with data that is either a flat or hierarchical collection. For now, I am going to bind a flat collection. I navigate to app component TS file and declare a variable data in the app component class. I assign an array of objects with fields like country and sales with appropriate values to the data variable. I assign this data variable to the data source property of the tree map in the app component HTML file. I set the weight value path property as sales, which is used to determine the size or weight of each item. Save the changes and run the application using the command ng serve. You can see the tree map with sales values displayed on each leaf node. To display the country instead of sales, I define an object leaf item settings. And add the label path property to country. I will assign this variable to the leaf item settings property of the tree map component. You can see the tree map component displaying the name of the state as labels. Next, let's customize the leaf node colors using color mapping. I am going to set three color ranges for the leaf nodes. Inside the leaf item settings object, I define the color mapping property and add the from and to properties to set the range values. 
I set the color property with the respective color code to differentiate leaf nodes. Similarly, I add range values and color for other color ranges. Then I set the range color value path property with the value sales and app component HTML file. Notice the tree map displays three color ranges. Now I will show you how to display the legends. I import tree map legend service module from its package and add it in the providers array of the component section. I define an object legend settings and set the visible property as true. I assign this object to the legend settings property of the tree map. Check now the tree map component is displayed with legends in three color ranges 1 to 2000, 2000 to 4000, and 4000 to 20,000. Next, let me enable the tooltip for the tree map component. First, I import the tree map tooltip service module from the Syncfusion Angular tree map package and register it in the providers array of the component section. Second, I declare an object, tooltip settings, and set the visible property to true. Then I assign this object to the tooltip settings property of the tree map component. See now, when I hover over the tree map, it displays tooltips. To add a title to the tree map component, I declare an object, title settings, and set the text and text style with appropriate values to it. I then assign this object to the title settings property of the tree map. Look, the tree map renders with a title. If you want to highlight the item while hovering over it, I use the Highlight Settings property. To do that, I import Tree Map Highlight Service and add it to the Providers array of the Component section. I define a variable, Highlight Settings, and set its Enable property to True. Then I assign this variable to the Highlight Settings property of the Tree Map. Notice the item is highlighted when I hover over it. Finally, I will show you how to select a particular item. To do that, I import Tree Map Selection Service Module and add it to the Providers Array. I define an object, Selection Settings, and set its Enable property to True. Then I assign this variable to the selection settings property of the tree map. Check when I click on a particular leaf node, that node got selected. In this video, I have shown you how to create an Angular app and add the Syncfusion Angular tree map component to it with a few basic features such as legends, labels, tooltips, a title, selection, height lighting, and color mapping. If you want to see the working example from this video, you can download it from the GitHub link in the description below. I have also provided a link where you can see if you qualify for a free license key to use our Angular products through our community license. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.